The next pattern I use is called scale number six. Once again, it's because it starts on the sixth of the key. So if I'm in the key of C and I go back to this position, second position, one, two, three, four, five, six, the sixth of the key is in A. So I find the lowest A and it is in the fifth position here. So my scale number six in the key of C is gonna start in the fifth position. And once again, here, here's C, right? But I want to go all the way down to the lowest note in the fifth position, because my concept involves everything there, everything in the fifth position in the key of C. So <clears throat> this one has two ways of doing it, and I think it's important for you as a, as a player to just see which one your hands want to do, which one you gravitate to. For me, I like to stretch. I go A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, and I stretch for the B. You're allowed to go like this if you like. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Slide up to C that way. So continuing. That's how it should sound. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. how that works it makes it it uh for me the stretch just seems a little easier than changing positions i don't know i've just always done it that way once again i'm going down up down up down up down up down up. that's called alternate picking and alternate picking for me has always been the right way to do things i know there's something called adjacent picking which means a new downstroke for every new string but the problem with that is I don't want any technical thing that I do. I don't want any aspect of technique to dictate what I'm hearing in my head. In other words, it might just feel real easy to go to the next string at that point, but if that's not what you're hearing and you're kind of drawn to do that, it, it's, it's not how I want to improvise. So I make sure it's up and down for every string. So that's my C major in the fifth position. It requires that little bit of a stretch. Uh, starts on an A, gathers all the notes in C in the fifth position. So five, six, seven, and eight, with that little stretch going up to nine. And for future reference, it's the Aeolian mode, because we're going to find out that it is A minor Aeolian, as well as being C major. Remember that relative major and minor thing we talked about during the pentatonic section? It applies to the major scale section too. So work this scale up. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, stretch, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. C major, fifth position, scale number six starts on the sixth of the key. Remember those things.